Hello everyone, I'm very happy to be with you today to talk about Petrobras 2021 results. This was a year in which we presented an excellent operating performance. We achieved all the oil and gas production targets set for the year, and the pre-salt is already accounting for 70% of our production. This result demonstrates our commitment to meeting our goals and our focus on deep and ultra-deep water assets. They have a great competitive advantage. They are low-cost, low-carbon oil. In 2021, we had the largest addition of reserves in the history of the company, with 1.97 billion barrels of oil equivalent, resulting in the replacement of 219% of our production in the period. In December, in line with our long-term strategy, we acquired the rights to explore the transfer of rights surplus in the SEPI and Atapu fields. Those assets will contribute further to our generation of value. Our refineries also presented high productivity, beating the greater demand for oil products in Brazil. In the fourth quarter of 2021, we reached an average utilization ratio of 88% and 83% in the year 2021. We had several maintenance stoppages throughout the year, so it was quite challenging and was the highest annual rate in the last five years. Our operational performance translated into solid financial results, which reflected the increase in oil prices in the international market and also the greater demand for oil products in the domestic market. For all these reasons, 2021 was a very important milestone in Petrobras' turnaround story. This becomes more evident when we look at our gross debt that is already below $60 billion. This was above $160 billion six years ago. We reached our $60 billion debt target 15 months in advance, resulting in a net debt to EBITDA ratio of 1.1 time. The results of 21 allowed our board of directors to approve additional dividends in line with our shareholder remuneration policy and compatible with our financial sustainability. The 2021 results reflect our commitment with our strategy, and when we prosper, we have a duty to continue contributing to society through the payment of dividends to the federal union and taxes to federal, state, and municipal government. Those resources can be converted into public policies for the Brazilian society. I conclude my message by reinforcing that both from an operational and financial perspective, as well as from a strategic perspective, we have now a much more solid and resilient company, ready to navigate through a challenging scenario of energy transition. Petrobras was able to demonstrate that rational and efficient management of resources and focus on value creation for our society and for our shareholders is the right path to go. We will continue on our path of value creation, aware of the size of our responsibility and of the importance of our contribution. To learn more about our 2021 results, please check our investor relations website.